Anderson. Got it. You have to keep playing. We well, talked the fact that he didn't practice much this week. Banged up. But he's still able to make a physical play and move the chains. Decker's first throw sails high. Picked off. Coming the other way. It's Channing scribbling. Scribbling with the takeaway. Still on his feet. Spun down at the 31. Just the third takeaway on the year for Michigan. But a great way to get started. Well, Blake Decker, his rhythm and timing was off on the play. He steps up in the pocket nice here. But he's waiting for his receiver and threw it too late and behind the wide receiver. Whenever there's a pass play over the middle and you're late throwing the ball, it's usually going to be behind the receiver. And that's exactly what happened. Third down and one. Let's see if we see that power football. Davion Smith behind the fullback, Joe Carey. So they give it to Smith. Third straight carry, and he's got the first down. At the Michigan Football 2015. And UNLV put all 11 at the line of scrimmage. They knew it was coming, so. Fresh set of downs, first and goal. Smith, another carry, leads his way inside the five. Junior out of Warren, Ohio. That only screen, along with Davion Smith in the backfield. Next to Rudock out of the shotgun. Rudock with time wide open in the back of the end zone, and it's off the mark. Jake Butt had a sure touchdown, but Rudock couldn't get it there. He had him wide he open. Settle for three. Rudock, Smith wide open out of the backfield. Touchdown, Michigan. The strength of Jake Rudock, and, and he's the same way at the University of Iowa, is given 32 yards on that drive. Extra point by Kenny Allen is good. So, Michigan, they keep on keeping on. Dating back to last week, they've now scored 42 unanswered points. 7 to nothing. Third down and short to begin the second quarter. Rudock, play action. Pass is low, but it's complete in fullback carriage, and the chains will move. There's that pass I was talking about on third and one, Eric. Last third one they had. High school. Instead chose to walk on here to Michigan, earned a scholarship, and now is playing for Jim Harbaugh. Little reverse. This is Darbo trying to get to the edge. And Darbo pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Picked up a four. Good decision. Second down and six, Ty Isaac is the deep back, and they give it. This will be a little wide receiver action coming on the end around, and this has got a chance to go. J.U. Chesson, touchdown, Michigan. And there is the longest play from scrimmage for Michigan on the year, a 36-yard bringing out a bag of tricks and, and two plays in a row. First a reverse, and then a, now a little jet sweep. And Chesson, according to Coach, uh, Office Coordinator Trin Drebno, is a 10 300 meter receiver. Saw the speed there. Kenny Allen, extra point is true. So a couple of wide receiver runs, and Michigan finds the explosive play they've wanted. 14 0 is their lead. Defense done a great job so far. Decker, a senior out of Mesa, Arizona. Second year in the program. He's a junior college guy. Tackle in the backfield, Ryan Glasgow. Senior from Aurora, Illinois, playing wonderful football. Coverage on the outside from Michigan. Third down and six. Decker running out of time. Throws it a tight coverage. It is complete, but well short of the first down marker. Kendall Keys. Grabs just two yards. So, hey, don't make mistakes. Let's see if we're playing smart football. Peppers is going to return it. Starts from the 24. Peppers makes the first wall miss. Peppers in space. Spins to the 45. He's out to midfield. What a return to Brill Peppers. And that was all Peppers. Looks like he broke four or five tackles on that return. We heard a lot about his ability from Coach Harbaugh and his coaching staff. What Jim Harbaugh's trying to do. 
Rudolph wants to throw, has a bunch of time. Dangerous pass, it's picked off. Oh, two different defenders for UNLV had a chance for it, and it's Fred Wilson who comes away with the football. They were just running a simple curl route on the inside with a flat receiver to try to pull the coverage to the outside, and, and Jake is just late with the ball. Just late with the football. Inside. That's exactly what happened. Now UNLV trying to get something positive going. They give it to Whiteley. And Whiteley out across the 45 to the 47. I'm impressed with uh, Whiteley. 5'9", 165 pound back out of Houston is Lexington Thomas. We'll get another carry, and this time doesn't work so well. Ryan Glasgow is the, the tackle. Ryan Glasgow. Had Kent Bear to be on a staff. Those two guys probably had a chance to go to some big time places with big time coaches. Ball tapped away. It falls to the ground. It'll bring up fourth down and three. Along with Darbo. Drake Johnson into the game for the first time. The handoff goes to the up back. That's Joe Carriage. Joe Carriage. Picking up six yards on first down. We've seen a whole bunch of Davion Smith. Here's Isaac. And he's tackled well in space. Tackle made by Blake Richmond. Let's go to Mike Hall for a T-Mobile. the line of scrimmage. They're ripe for a long ball right here. Third down carry, power football, and Isaac moves the chains. Tackled by Ryan McAleenan. I'm here to tell you, Ty Isaac was a huge deal in high school. Coming out of his pound, and he can run. Another chance for Isaac. Very patient run. Takes his time. Isaac, what kind of speed do you have down the sideline? No one's going to catch him. There he goes. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, we figured out where we're going to see an explosive play from, and his name is Ty Isaac. And there's a, there's a second explosive play from Michigan. Is this your power sweep play to the outside? You're going to have to block his wide receivers in this office. Takes a sweep. He has pulling linemen. Patient. Has a stiff arm there to break himself free. But you knew that was coming, Eric, because that UNLV de defense was too tight at the line of scrimmage. There was nobody in the back end. Through the first two weeks of the season, Michigan did not have one play longer than 30 yards. Already in the first half, they've had two, both resulting in touchdowns. As well, and they got good athletes that can play close to the line. Stripling, 6'2". Jordan Lewis, just 5'10", but he's built. Jeremy Clark, who plays a lot, 6'4", as a corner. Palandek in trouble, goes down! Taco Charlton, Maurice Hurst, whole bunch of Wolverines in that mix to bring down the quarterback and force third down. And the coverage made that happen, too. They're playing a lot of man coverage and allowing that rush to get there. Good pressure by the front of Michigan. Nowhere to go for Palandek there, but he just eat the ball and get down. That's all you can do. You saw they brought the corner. Jordan Lewis came in on the blitz. If you're ever going to commit a quarterback, you want him to get there in time, make a difference. Third and 14. Palandek. Oh, man, that play had no chance. Wolverines everywhere. They may have played with 15 guys on defense. Caught at the line of scrimmage. My goodness. There were three guys in the face of the quarterback and three guys immediately on the receiver who caught the ball. What? Converted safety now playing corner and doing it well. You're going to have that happen sometimes in press coverage, a, a pass in the first. Blake Decker. Wants to throw. Throws a pretty ball, but that had no chance. It's picked off. Michigan's got the football, and it's that man again. Don't go testing Jeremy Clark. And Jeremy Clark did a great job that he did not do the play before. He looked back for the football and made a great play off the interception, off bump and run, which is very hard to do. Coach Sanchez is saying, throw the ball a little higher and outside. Great job by Clark. Good technique. And watch him look back for the ball at the last second. Perfect technique. He stays with it. Great play on bump and run, and that's very difficult to do, an interception off a of bump and run coverage. Look at him hang with that Outside football. Game to find the game in your market. Ty 
Isaac breaks that first wall. He emerged out of nowhere and gets out to the 44-yard line. This kid has got some thump. Well, he's living up to his hype today. An entire team. Isaac still in the backfield. Rudock wants to throw. Rudock's pass is complete. He gets it to Jake Buck. Been a Rudolph's quiet game for the junior Buck. tight end. That's his first catch. Rick, Rick, that's your play action on first Rick's down. Super Rick. healthy for the first two games and three quarters. Kai Isaac has the first down. Let's go to Mike Hall for a T-Mobile studio. Uh-oh, trouble time in Minneapolis. Gary Kill's team, good fourth quarter team. Now. Another helmet pops off. 6'3", 228 pounds of thunder. They fake it to Isaac. Rudock throws a laser beam. It's caught. That'll be another first down for Michigan. J.U. Chesson continues with a big afternoon. Yards through the air for Rudock. He's thrown a touchdown and been picked once. Out of space, Drake Harris, one man to beat. He's wrapped up at the five and thrown out of bounds. And Tim Huff saved the touchdown, a pickup of eight. Or Jake Rudock is screen, the only wide receiver in the game. After review, the runner's knee was down with the ball at the half yard line. It'll be first and goal. Ah, ooh, they saw the knee go down. Again, this is probably what Jim Harbaugh wants anyway. Work on a little goal line offense. So take the touchdown away from Homa. He comes off the sideline and goes back into that huddle. Maybe they'll give it to him again. A.J. Williams checks in as a tight end. It'll be first down and goal. Three tight end formation. Homa in front of Isaac. Homa's got it. Homa's got a touchdown. A little bit of delayed gratification, but he's beaming right now. I love that play goal from Jim, Jim Harbaugh. You know, he didn't get in. He, Homa didn't get in the last time. Let's give it to him again. Get him a touchdown. Nice job. Good play calling. Get your players involved. And how about this? Sione Homa scores his first career touchdown for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> two touchdowns for Homa, we thought, in the last two minutes. That one actually is going to count. Who will remember that one? Uh, deep into his retirement. Kenny Allen, extra point is true. The lead is 28-0. Michigan feeling real good about themselves right now. Third in total yards, fourth and passing yards allowed. But uh, if you prorate today's numbers, oh, that's going to go way down. In space, Jake Phillips, his first catch, wrapped up at the 42-yard line and brought that pass complete. 13-yard pickup in the backfield, showing blitz. Here comes Jeremy Clark. It's picked up. Oh, my, what a play. Good grab in space. This has got a chance. Down to the 10-yard line, down to the 6. That is the biggest play of the day for UNLV. Devontae Boyd with a catch with a defender draped all over him. 53 yards. One-on-one -on -one coverage top of your screen. If the Rebels want to throw it. And they do. End zone. Touchdown. Devontae Boyd. They put Boyd on the inside. Nikolai Bornand with the extra point. And it's seven points. Touchdown, extra point. Nice drive. UNLV on the board. You know, it's good exposure for them, too, being on TV like this. It's good for the program. As you said, if they get another drive and a touchdown here, that'll make uh, Tony Sanchez and his, his staff and uh, team look good. Hallendeck in trouble, breaks a couple of tackles. Hallendeck can scoop. Out of bounds at the 15-yard line. He's hard to bring down. Not a big fella, 185 pounds. Yeah. Maybe two plays. Hallendeck goes down! Maurice Hurst with the sack. And that will do it or maybe not so, no 
But I call timeout. Timeout, UNLV. Which is good. That's a good timeout. Get timeout. One more play. UNLV. And both sides are already coming final. to midfield. And Tony With Sanchez is going to keep playing. Please, for it. Yeah. Yeah. Good timeout by Coach Sanchez. Go up there and a little Hail Mary action. Palandek to the end zone. Has a man incomplete. And that will do it. Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Wolverines improved to two and one. Back-to-back -back home victories last week against Oregon State. This week taking down UNLV. Is Michigan football back? A conversation that will continue here in Ann Arbor and around Big Ten country for the next seven days before Michigan takes on BYU next week here in the big house. 254 rushing yards for the Wolverines. Three rushing scores. Michigan football playing the way Jim Harbaugh wants them to. That's Michigan football. is a, is a good, solid victory for them. Played really good defense today. The one thing they have to, gonna have to get going a little bit is their passing attack. But they did it Michigan style by running the football first. Little play action off of that. That's how they want to win games. Jake Rudolph was not perfect, but he did enough good things and was careful enough with the football for the most part. And Michigan able to run the offense that they want for the 28 points and the defense having a shutout until deep into the